I've just stopped by the side of the road because I um, I saw some white mushrooms on the verge and thought I'd go and check them out because I thought they might be millers. Um, I'll show you them now and we can see why I think they are. So looking at them, um, they're in a there, there's a few of them in, a, in an arc um, and if we had the whole the whole space it would probably be an entire ring um, I'm going to look at the surface of them they are, they are a bit damp but they do feel like kid leather and I know if they were dry they definitely would be like that which is a good sign they are wavy they're not, they're not symmetrical they're the wavy margins and let's have a look at this one and the stem is eccentric, it's not bang in the middle, which is also a good thing. The gills are running down the stem slightly, which is good and right. That, that's called decurrent gill types. They are true gills, so they're not in the chanterelle family or anything like that. Um, and more importantly, the gills look pink, which is vital for, um, for millers. Lastly, I'm gonna Give it a sniff. Yeah, it smells strongly of um, flour or meal or raw pastry, which is key for millers because that's a vital ID point. The reason I'm checking all this so carefully is because um, because there is a poisonous lookalike for millers, which is called um, Clitoside rivulosa, the ivory funnel or the fool's funnel, and that has white spores, it is much more symmetrical, less wavy around the edges, and it has, um, it also has the smell of meal, so it's quite a, an important one to learn if you are ever gonna pick millers. So, just to be absolutely sure, I'm gonna take the good ones home, and I'm gonna do a spore print, which means I just cut the stem off and lay them on some dark and light paper, or on um, foil, or something like that, or glass, and I'm going to just double check that the spores are definitely pink. Um, and hopefully they'll be a tasty treat. They're not necessarily one for beginners. Please look out and please know the difference between these and the fool's funnel because it could be fatal. Um, but I, I quite like Miller's. I think they're delicious. Happy foraging!